Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can. And they continue with Realms of the Haunting Blind. Now, I'm here in the mysterious tower, which seems to be some kind of a netherworld that connects to, um, to, 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 to different dimensions or something. And there are two of those shimmering gates. I have no idea uh, where I should go, so I will just go at random. Mm. Into here, for example. Ha, <laughs> that's a cool effect. Now it, uh, it's not visible from the outside, so it seems as if you're staring into the void. But then there is actually a passage that goes deeper. Child of Helen, sleep, sleep, and cometh upon thy wings to me. Mm. Now, something I didn't comment on uh, during the previous episode, it seems that uh, the denizens of the tower call Earth Helid, which I do not know the significance of, I, I, I don't know if it's a mythological term that really exists. I have never heard uh, that name mm, in my life. However, it seems that both of those uh, do go into the same place. So the distinction was kind of pointless. And there's another one of those uh, waystones. The path to Helad is to be found in the south. Traveler, look to the west, and there ye shall find Heled. Kuduru, map and marker for the tower. Mm. Kuduru. We all labor against our own cure. Death is the cure for all disease. Well, I guess it kind of is, if your mindset is warped enough. As you know, you cannot suffer from disease if you are dead. There's something odd about this pillar. You're right. It's making me feel nervous. Power is faint, but very powerful. Mm, it doesn't look like I can interact with it or anything. Mm. So let's continue. I, I don't quite know where am I supposed to go, so I'm just walking around exploring. Okay, this seems empty. This looks like the place we should be. If I remember right, Raphael told us to stand on the plinth. Stand, I say. Stand for the light. Rally to the walls and fight. Don't believe we've seen this gate before. It's certainly not the one we used to get here. Okay, let's let's get on it because I think it is the only one well there might have been other paths before to be honest I am a bit confused by the layout uh, yeah, the, there is no other path here there might have been other paths before I am a bit confused by the layout of this place which I do believe is probably intentional but Okay, so I got somewhere. Broken statue. There aren't any voices coming from this one. Well, rather than broken, it appears to have been blasted by something. Maybe it was lightning. Broken statue. There aren't any voices coming from this one. Well, rather than broken, it appears to have been blasted by something. Maybe it was lightning. Well, we're still here. We seem to be in one piece. Yeah, wherever here is, seems to be some sort of long forgotten garden. Well, judging by the walls around us, I'd say we're at some sort of central point of the house. No one's been here for a while by the looks of things. What's that? What? Listen.
Okay, I find it kind of curious they didn't comment on the tree full of hanged corpses. Jesus, what the hell? Sacrifices. I'm... I'm not sure I like any of this anymore. Jesus. Sacrifice. I'm... I'm not sure I like any of this anymore. Hmm. Okay, the sudden change in the light thing is a bit weird as well. Another statue. The voices seem to be coming from the statues. Unnerving. Wonder who the voices are. Mm, they say the marked one approaches. By, by, by which they mean Adam, obviously. He has the the marks upon his hands that let him carry the the shrive. Boarded up to keep something in or out. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? Mm, that is a valid point. Can't see anything in there. It's so murky, I can't tell how deep it is. Broken statue. Or rather than... Maybe it was lightning. Hmm. Okay, it seems like a... Not entirely great idea to walk into nothingness without saving. So I will save, because if I fall to my death, I will have to repeat everything. Another statue. The voices seem to be coming from the statues. Unnerving. Wonder who the voices are. Another statue. Unnerving. Wonder who the voices are. Another statue. Unnerving. Wonder who the voices are. Okay, it uh, it all repeats itself, which is a bit annoying, but I, I, I always want to check uh, to make sure that I haven't missed any lines of dialogue. Uh, this pool seems rather shallow, so I will enter it just to see if anything's going to happen. Is there anything... That doesn't look like rainwater to me. So what is it then? I haven't got a clue, but... Hey, there's something catching the light. Hmm. Is there something in in it? It's difficult to tell because of the camera angles. Ah, there's a key, I think. How do I pick it up? The, the camera seems to destroy us or save us. Destroy us or save us, he says. Well, I would much rather save you. How do I? That doesn't look like. So I haven't got a clue, but hey, there's something catching the light. Destroy us or save us. We destroy us. Okay, there the, the very clearly is a key down there. But I don't know how to pick it up because the the, the centered vision uh, makes it so I cannot really like when I'm close enough to actually do it, I can no longer see it. Uh, obviously, it seems important. It is some kind of a key, mm, and Adam even specifically mentioned it. Well, not, well, not speci specifically mentioned it, but he specifically mentioned the fact that there is something catching the light at the bottom of the f found of the of the pool. So it makes me think it was the game trying to tell me that is an important item. And how do I pick it up? There is no like it's a bit annoying because there are no key bindings. Uh, for this game, so I cannot even check, like there's only mouse speed, but I don't think, you know, you move using using arrow keys, and WSD, mm, you can jump uh, using A, but the rest of the buttons don't really do anything, I don't think I can look 
Oh, I can also crouch. Which, okay, okay, that's that's potentially useful. Uh, okay, great. Crouching is great. Great. Mm. Although it's it's a bit unwieldy because I have to let go of the mouse uh, to do that. Because uh, I crouch using Z and I move using the arrow keys. But still, uh, that will, gives me an opportunity to check this as well. However, first I should probably save because there's a non-zero possibility stepping inside this is actually fatal. Well, it isn't. In fact, it, it's even shallower than the other one. Mm. Okay, didn't want, didn't want to do that. Kind of did, did that by accident. Map. But to where? You inside. The one who is named Adam. There's no place to run. Come without. Come now. So be it. We shall come to you, one called Adam. Prepare your soul. Now the masks will be mine. The Narl has been distant for too long. Prepare to die. Okay, I'm, I'm out of ammo for the pistol, which is not particularly great. Uh, I wonder if time is stopped when I'm in the... I think so, because otherwise I would be dead already. Okay, I do have plenty of, of shotgun shells. So I should be able to survive for a little bit longer. Mm, okay, should probably save before I step in here. That kind of seems either like a trap or like straight up death. Because I don't even see anything beyond. Uh. Okay, I think... There might have been someone attacking me inside, but it's literally pitch black. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic because the muzzle flash uh, actually provides light. Like, when I fired, it was brighter for a little bit. Boarded up to keep something in or out. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? So, that's interesting. And I wonder if I can use that to my advantage, kind of. Um, okay, but th th there doesn't seem to be actual passage uh, through here. So... Hmm. We do have a key for something. But, but, but the door was, was boarded up. It specifically said boarded up and not locked. So, you no, know, a key. Board it up to keep something in or out. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? Mm, a key doesn't exactly help in that regard. Hmm. Okay, the marked one approaches. Oh, the symbol has disappeared. That, that has to be somehow significant, right? Uh, there was a green symbol here before, uh, but it's non-existent now. Board it up. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? I don't think... Ah, there is an... No, wait, that's just the door outside. 
I got all excited for a second there. Uh, hmm. Okay, I must be missing something obvious, right? Hmm. Where does this go? Boarded up. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? Okay, clearly there are rooms that I can enter beyond here because I can shoot at the windows. Uh, do I have anything that would break the? Can I shoot that? Well, I can, but it does nothing. Will it tell me anything about the key? Oh, I think this is a new entry actually, Rakfia, which is one of the realms, right? And it gives me the symbol for it as well? Put two and two together, I'd say that place that Raphael mentioned, Rakfia, was another world, like the tower. He said there were four worlds. Rakfia is only one of them, the realm of spirit. Okay. However, will they tell me anything? Ah, okay. This is what I picked up. Mm. This only gives me the symbols for the four realms. Helad slash Earth. Shell. Now, another thing I didn't mention before, which I think I should. Uh, Shell is actually... the. Like, it's actually a name for hell in the Old Testament, I believe. Like, it might be Aramaic or, or, uh, or what's the word, uh, uh, or Hebrew. Uh, but, but basically, it is an actual word uh, in the real world to, used to describe uh, what is basically hell. Uh, which makes me think that Heled might be a word for Earth uh, as well in reality, you know, in, in some mythologies or or, uh, or or something, but I'm just not aware of that uh, at the time. Uh, okay, but can you tell me anything about the key? This key opened the outhouse door in the gardens. Outhouse door? This key opened the outhouse door in the gardens opened the outhouse door but i think but the outhouse there this is not an outhouse from my knowledge of what an outhouse is supposed to be uh so and i think those doors were open beforehand anyway so i'm a bit confused <laughs> Okay, I'm totally stumped. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, so I think, just to be sure, I will return to the tower. Combine the face with the soul traveler. Become as one to walk the tower. Know that you...
Hmm. Okay, maybe I was supposed to leave with the key because the chapters actually changed, which seems to indicate, you know, some kind of progress. So maybe the key is for something else entirely. Although it, it distinctly said it's supposed to open an outhouse in the garden, by, by which I presumed it meant uh, the garden of of that place I was just at. But maybe that's not true. Well, let's go back and see if something has changed around here. Or maybe if there's a passage uh, going somewhere else. Okay, this goes into nothingness. It's probably not the best passage in the history of passages. Um, This goes into a dead end as well. Hmm, but this just goes back to Earth, so where? Water. Come from there and see the fire in the sky. So where are the four, no, where are the two remaining uh, gateways to the other realms? Uh, unless the key is for an outhouse in the garden on Earth, but that would be very weird. Like, what would, what, what would it even be doing there? I am utterly confused overall by what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm, especially because, as I said, it seems to me that uh, the, the, there are missing portals. Like, there were supposed to be four realms uh, with four corresponding pedestals to be transported there, but I have only found two. Mm. So overall, I understand very little of what's going on. The healers are come. Run to the gates. And I seem to be hearing voices. There's something odd about this pillar. You're right. It's making me feel nervous. I was faint but very powerful. Hmm. I doubt I am supposed to return to Earth. Like, I have literally accomplished nothing. I have a key for something, but to be honest, it is much more likely to me that it opened something uh, in Rakvia, uh, rather rather than back on Earth, because why would there be a key for something on Earth in a whole different freaking dimension? Like, uh, it's a bit weird, and I don't understand that. He plots against me. His vision is great, but my will is the stronger. However, the, the chapter did change, which seems to signify signify you know something. Hmm, although, wait a second, wait a second, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because I was just thinking, there were different symbols on different doors throughout the house, right, uh, so maybe I could open the one that has the symbol associated with Rakvia on it, uh, but, but I guess the point is moot for the time being, because, uh, this door uh, has just opened on its own, so let's explore where it actually leads. Okay, this one is definitely... Well, it is kind of moving. Old suit of armor. All the pieces are wired together. To stop it collapsing, I expect. Colors faded badly on the weave. Not surprising considering the state of this place. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is blocked by some kind of a huge block of stone. Candle. Tallow, I believe. I cannot relight the candles. Uh, presumably because there's not much left of them. Plenty of this rubble around. The structure doesn't look too safe, does it? Hmm. I don't think I can cross for the time being. Uh, also, the roof is leaking. Mm, okay, was there another door? Hmm, no. Interesting. So what's the purpose of this place? It has literally given me nothing. Um... Uh, but, as I said, there were other doors with the green symbols, so maybe some of them will open now. Hand carving. If it is a hand, it's definitely not human. Actually, why not? It has five fingers, and the sort of layout of the hand is, is uh, you know, the shape of the hand is definitely human. Uh, it, it's just rather big, but, you know, it doesn't have to mean anything, because there's plenty of uh, architectural designs, like, you know, statues and such, in the real world, that are purposefully made bigger uh, than a human, uh, even though they represent a human form. You know, if, if somebody has a monument dedicated to them, it is like three times the size of a person, it doesn't mean it isn't supposed to represent the, the original person uh, being a giant. So, I don't quite understand what they are going on about. Stuck fast. Uh, however, as I said, there are different symbols throughout. So, let me try the one, finding the one that's associated with Rakfia uh, specifically. That's, I just got back to where I was. Which is classic me. Unfortunately. Mm, this is still stinking. This one's stuck fast. Hmm. Okay, I might not be able to accomplish anything after all. Which, I'm not going to lie is more than a little bit frustrating. fast <laughs> okay I'm rather confused this tapestry seen better days.
Do we have anything we can use or put in it? The dome seemed to act as some sort of transporter. Transported you to the Nile. Hmm. But I think it requires that green crystal. And I guess it, it got used up uh, in the in the process of, of accessing this for the first time. So it means, uh, it seems it means that whenever I, whenever I want to return, I have to, um, I have to what? Uh, I have to find another one of those green crystals. So, um, Hmm. Okay, I'm a rather confused uh, about what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess the only new area that has really opened up is over here. Hmm. This moves I... the platform down the corridor. What? What platform? Hand carving. If it is a hand. This moves the platform down the corridor. What platform? You, you mean the block? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. So at least that's kind of some progress. It's better than nothing. Hey, what's this? Looks like a zone marker marking a magical boundary. This looks like a crosshair. And I can shoot it, which I am conflicted about the validity of that. There's some sort of arcane design woven into this. Very odd. What do you mean? I've not seen one of these for a while. The weave incorporates a safety device. So you mean you stand in it and it'll protect you from something? Any ideas from what? This isn't going to move in a hurry. Won't budge. Must have taken some strength to do that. The hinges have been torn away. Hmm. Okay, I think... They're not coming in. We're safe for the moment. That might sound good to you, but we can't stay here forever. Okay, we can't indeed. However, can I shoot from here? Yeah, they cannot... Okay, I'm not sure... If I'm actually damaging them, I will switch to the, to the staff because it has a regenerating ammo, uh, which seems like a lesser of a waste. Sure, whether I'm actually damaging them. Uh, I'm kind of starting to doubt that. I don't think I'm doing anything. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to run? I mean, if there are more of those places of power or whatever, then... This isn't, didn't budge. This isn't gonna move in a hurry. Won't lodge. Okay, I'm rather confused. Strange place. However, I don't think they can fit in the door. We 
which is kind of hilarious in its own right. Um, but I also don't think I can actually kill them. Like, I've really spent a lot of time shooting at them, and nothing really happened. So... You know... Okay, I'm not sure I was supposed to be doing that. Floor panel. Golden. Serpent design. Mm. Oh, I have one of those from before. So maybe I'm supposed to put it here because it, it got highlighted. Oh, let's check the upstairs, I guess, first. Old suit of armor. All the pieces are wired together. To stop it collapsing, I expect. Mm. There's a key hovering above. Okay, let's put the snake symbol in here. Floor panel. Golden. Serpent design. Mm, okay, okay, so I'm supposed to stand on it, uh, and then put it here, mm, so that it raises me towards the key. Golden key. Worth a few bucks. More importantly, we haven't found anything to open with it yet. Well, presumably it's one of the doors, right? I will be picking this up again. Um, I really don't think I can kill the Minotaurs, or whatever are they supposed to be. So I will just try to circumvent them. And see if this door, indeed, it opens. Uh, however... Okay, there's a lever, which does something. Again, I'm a bit unsure as to what exactly that is, but... Okay, this goes further down. And this seems entirely... Po oh! Actually, not entirely pointless at all. I uh, had a lot of... Okay, now that I've found more ammo, I'm going to switch back to the shotgun, because the stuff is, is not that great. Uh, okay, that, that, that didn't help me that much, to be honest, but... Okay, this goes back here. So, uh, let's check downstairs. Uh, but first, let's also save. This this looks like a like a natural cavern rather than something man-made. Although, on the other hand, those are definitely sculptures, and those look uh, suspiciously like faces. Like this definitely does look like a face. So I guess the verdict is still open on that, and I guess this is very clearly, mm, you know. Some kind of a design with angels. 
Um. Sarcophagus. Cold touch. Sarcophagus. Cold touch. Sarcophagus. Cold touch. Rebecca? Strange, I thought. There again. What is it? One of the spirits of the Lord. Who are you? Where are you? Can you see us? Where are you? I may not tell. If you are mortal and not of a field monster, you must redress the balance. Balance? What balance? Please keep talking. Don't go. Where is this chamber? What do you think? Well, that depends on who it was. <laughs> mm, okay. It didn't really tell me that much about what I'm supposed to do next. Uh, but I think there is a passage through here. Mm, that very clearly leads, you know, somewhere. Infidels, the sanctum is breached, brothers. Crawl from your warrens. Wake to my call. Awaken! Awaken! That's probably not a great sign. Uh... Probably not a great sign at all. Uh, also, I barely see where I'm going. Like, I'm rather afraid of falling into a, one of the, those chasms and dying, so I guess let me save to alleviate that fear a little bit. Mm. hope the enemies do not respawn without end, because I am rather limited on ammunition, truth be told. Hmm. They, they might respawn. I think that last one... Yeah, I think they might respawn after all. They like spawn from their, their lairs or whatever. Uh, so I think running is actually not that bad of an idea. Even though I have very little idea of what I'm running towards. Hmm. Some sort of keep. Maybe. Maybe not. 
Okay, I did pick it up, which is, I guess, progress. Uh, Okay, is this a jumping puzzle? Oh, if it was, then I failed it horribly. Although, hmm, technically speaking, I'm still alive. Which is more than I anticipated. But I, I have no idea where I'm actually going. It's very dark and I can scarcely even see anything, which is... M most likely even worse on YouTube. I, I presume this is nothing but a blur of darkness. Uh... you there for a moment. No, I'm all right. Must be a teleporter. Okay, let's heal uh, while I can. Well, I got somewhere and I got that, 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 uh, what's his name? Uh, I got that red crystal, which seems to be important, I would say. Hmm. Some sort of key, perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. Hard to say. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, but I am kind of out of ammunition. Uh... Well... I guess I do have a couple, couple more rounds for the pistol, and and they do die relatively easily-ish to the pistol. So, but I have actually no idea where to go. I don't think shooting them... Okay, can I... Nope, I'm not supposed to enter there. Um, I don't think shooting them is actually that great of an idea in itself, because... Okay, did I save? That's kind of my question here. Uh, did I? I did not. Okay, that's very annoying. It's very annoying indeed, because I don't really remember where I was when I picked the crystal. Like, I think it was through here. Because the crystal has to be important for something, right? Otherwise, why would it even exist? Uh, I don't think I'm going to shoot them, because they seem to be endless. Uh... Hmm. 
Okay, I found something. The metal's still good. That surprises me. Bone. Looks human. It is. Difficult to make out the inscription on this. The wording's eroded by the water in this place. Difficult to make out the inscription on this. The wording's eroded by the water in this place. Difficult to make out the inscription on this. Okay, I found something which, you know, seems a little significant at least. If this path led to nothing, I don't think there would be, you know, such, such a distinct location on the way there, so... Mm, might be on to something here. Even though... I understand very little of what am I supposed to be doing. Okay, another crystal. Dead, but nice observation, Dr. Randall. Dead, but the looks of things. Nice observation, Dr. Randall. Okay. Uh, what's going on in here? I, I picked an, up another crystal. So that has to be significant somehow. Hell, I thought I lost you there for a moment. No, I'm all right. Must be a teleporter. Okay, finally, I 
I think it must be relevant, right? This teleporter. I I don't know, you know, where exactly it led me, but but I hope it's it's closer towards the exit. Uh, however, this episode has been long enough. After I, uh, you know, speed up all of the aimless wandering, uh, it should up, add up to 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 a decent length anyway. Uh, so I'm going to end it here, and I will look for the exit next time. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!